Zach is back. It's the Zach Geld Show on Fox Sports 920, The Jersey. All right, welcome back in Fox Sports 920, The Jersey. The draft was a great success in Philadelphia, and it was fun to be down there on Friday, Saturday, and also getting it started with the primetime coverage of the first round on Thursday. Welcome back into the Zach Gelb Show, Fox Sports 920, The Jersey. Number is always 609 919 And with the draft, the Eagles got a lot of praise, specifically for their later round picks. In the fourth round, they got a wide receiver out of UNC who is supposed to be a special teams monster in Matt Collins. And then also in the fifth, they got another wide receiver by the name of Shelton Gibson. So let's learn more about Matt Collins, the former UNC wide receiver, now with the Philadelphia Eagles as we welcome in his head football coach in college at UNC, and that is Coach Larry Fedora, who's kind enough to hop on board with us right now. Coach, we appreciate a few minutes. Thanks for the time, and how are you on this afternoon? I'm doing great, Zach. we got great weather here. The uh, skies are Carolina blue, and uh, everything's good. Now it seems like the perfect life because over the weekend we got like a 70-degree day here, and now we're back into the 60s, the 50s, and I think we're even supposed to get down tonight to summer in the 40s, so I'm not loving this weather, Coach. Ooh, that's tough right there now. <laughs> no doubt about that. Uh, Coach Larry Fedora with us right now on the Zach Gelb Show. Matt Collins, before we talk about his football abilities, you got a chance to coach him at UNC. Tell me a little bit more about the person uh, the fans of the Philadelphia Eagles are getting with Matt Collins. Well, Matt's a, a very unique individual. I mean, he's, uh, he's you know, he, he came here as a walk-on, uh, proved himself in, in every phase, earned the respect of his teammates, uh, earned the respect of uh, uh, his, his coaches, I mean, and just as a guy that plays with a chip on his shoulder. And with that chip, and we've seen a walk-on story here in Philadelphia with Temple, with the Son Reddick going the 13th overall pick, and he was a walk-on. When you get a walk-on, just describe the chip that Mac has on his shoulder because it seems like it's a special one to be drafted in the fourth round. You know, it's interesting. Mac and I have had many conversations, and he'll Mac will tell you he thinks that every college athlete ought to have to earn his scholarship. That he shouldn't just be given a scholarship; he ought to have to earn it. You know, it, it makes you it makes you hungrier, it makes you more competitive, and that's what Mac is. I mean, Mac is will be one of the most competitive guys you have on that football team because he's had to earn everything that he's ever gotten in his life, and uh, I think it's just uh, it's giving him that extra motivation. He's a different person. He's a special human being from everyone that we talked to. And I'll say that he's different as well just because we were reading and he was saying during the conference call that he owned snakes and his dad growing up as a kid and when he was growing up had a lion. So what's up with this fascination of these exotic animals, Coach? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know the answer to that, but you're <laughs> right. He does. He's got snakes. He talks about feeding them all the time with mice and all this stuff, and it's uh, – I mean, that's the other end of the spectrum for me. I, I, I don't want to be around a snake, but uh, he, he is really into all that. He, wants to, he wanted to own a pet store at one time, you know, and uh, so I, 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 he, he's out there on some, uh, on some different uh, areas now, I'll tell you. Now, this is a player that's been through a lot. We've seen him get uh, a lot of success at UNC, but he's also had some injuries along the way. This past year, just how about the way that he handled the injury that he did uh, have to suffer through? Well, you know, it basically uh, in the Miami game, he uh, broke his collarbone and it ended his, uh, his playing days here at Carolina. But I'll tell you this, he was still at every single practice. He was there. Uh, we, he was on the road trips. He was motivating. He was coaching uh, the other receivers. I mean, he did a heck of a job because Mac was one of the leaders on our football team. And I will tell you this about him. You know, Mac is the only player I've had in 30 years of coaching that was selected as a team captain as a freshman uh and and he was selected by his peers not by his coaches but by his peers as a team captain as a freshman and i've never had another young man do that how did he walk in and get that role specifically being someone that does come from a walk-on uh, perspective how did he gain that respect of the teammates so quickly well he came in and outworked people i mean uh, first thing you're going to find out now and a lot of people are going to talk about mac uh, hollins as a special teams player because he is a tremendous special teams player. But you're going to be surprised at what you got as a wide receiver. I mean, he averaged about 40 or what was it, 24 yards a catch, I think, while he was here. I mean, he's got great speed. Unfortunately, I mean, and, and maybe uh, good for Philadelphia was that, uh, you know, he got injured at the combine. He would have, he's one of those freakish kind of players. He would have blown the combine away. I mean, he, you know, he's an 11 foot broad jumper, uh, 
over plus 40 inches in the in the vertical. I mean, so his numbers would have been really great. Unfortunately, he had the injury there, and uh, so that's probably a good thing for Philly. Coach Larry Fedora of the UNC Tar Heels on with us right now. Zach Gelb Show, Fox Sports 920, the jersey. Just with the way, because a lot of people just say, oh, he's a special teams guy, and then you look at the stats, over 1,600 yards, 20 touchdowns. Uh, when you look at his game, do you have a receiver that he reminds you of in all your years of coaching, uh, maybe at a different level or even uh, at the college level? Well, Mac, Mac has got, you know, he's about 6'4", maybe 6'4 and a half. Uh, he's got very deceptive speed. You know, he's got the, that long gait. And so he's uh, – the DBs, the corners don't even realize. By the time they realize he's on them, he's by them. And uh, he, he just – he can really go get the deep ball. I mean, he's been very, very effective doing that. And then for a, a, a tall guy, he can get in and out of cuts. But the thing that makes him special is, is how competitive he is. I mean, he, you know, you get into one-on-ones and every day in practice – Mac was the first one out on the field. He's on the jugs machine. At the end of practice, he's the last one to leave. He's running laps. He's doing whatever he can because the guy can run for days. He's like a greyhound. And, Coach, as we're talking to Coach Lyre Fedora of UNC, Coach, you look at the situation that he comes to. Uh, Philadelphia, you know how much they love football here, but you have a young star in the quarterback in Carson Wentz, a lot of competition at the wide receiver position, and then also one of the better special teams units coached by Dave Phipp. It seems like it's the perfect fit uh, for someone that went in the fourth round, no? Yeah, I think so. I think you're going to find out he's going to be a much better receiver than what uh, people are giving him credit for. I think he'll contribute to you there right away, and I think he will. And I'll be surprised if he's not a starter on all your special teams. I mean, he. I think he really is special. He. I can tell you, in a game we had, uh, he made a catch and and uh, knocked his shoulder down and was, you know, as he was coming off the field, I could tell someone there, and we're getting ready to line up for the kickoff. And I said, hey, let's take you, you know, let's take you off the uh, kickoff for this uh, play. He says, and I'm not coming off the damn kickoff team. You can take me off the out of the offense, but don't take me off the kickoff team. I mean, and that, that, that's just his mentality. I mean, he was going to do everything that he could possibly do, you know, to uh, help this football team win. Uh, if you go back and look at Ryan Switzer, who had seven punt returns for touchdowns, Mac is leading him into the end zone just about on every single one of those. What was the best game you ever seen him play? Oh, wow. Uh, I'll tell you what, he had a, he had a good game against Florida State. I mean, he, he had a bunch of good games. I, I don't know which if I could just pick out one. I mean, he had a really he had some really good games for us. Coach, before we let you run, you also had a quarterback go number two overall in this year's draft, Mitch Trubisky. A lot of people said that was a little bit of an enigma with how much the Bears did trade up one spot to get him. Uh, just tell me why Mitch is going to work in the National Football League with the Bears. You know, I, I hear everybody co- talking about that. You know, about uh, you know, give him a hard time about the trades. I mean, I, I know this: if you if you don't have a quarterback at that level, you can't win. I mean, you, you you have no chance. And so they they gave up what they thought he was worth, and uh, I, I think he's worth it. I think he's going to be very successful at the next level. He can make every throw that there is. He's got all the arm strength. He can throw it from all the slots. He, uh, he, he's, uh, he has done a tremendous job of taking care of the football, not, getting, not, you know, not forcing it. But when he needs to, he can drive the ball in between two people if he has to. So, you know, I think, uh, I think the Bears got him a really good one. Coach, before we let you run, what was that like for you since, you know, we do reach into Philly and the South Jersey Philly area here on Fox Sports 920, the Jersey, to see your player get drafted that early. What was it like, the experience in Philadelphia? Well, I tell you what, the the people, the fans in Philadelphia were unbelievable. I mean, that crowd was tremendous. The excitement, the, uh, you know, you could just feel the uh, electricity in the air. It was unbelievable. I think Philly just showed how it's supposed to be done on draft day. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. Thanks so much, and uh, best of luck next season. Okay, thank you.